you mentioned that your presence in the U.S. Obviously, you guys were operating in the U.S. You incorporated in the U.S. and you uh, grew the company from originally from here. But now you guys are making an investment in the in building a factory in the in the Texas area in, in the state of Texas. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so a little bit, maybe maybe three years ago, we we began the process of looking to build a facility here in the U.S. Again, our concerns were trade issues, and we 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 figured that they would only get worse over time. And and I think we've continued to see that. So this was before the IRA. This was before the manufacturing incentives were there. And so we we looked at building a facility in Texas. Texas made the most sense for us because one, you know, you to quote Gretzky, where the puck is going to be, not where it's at. So, I mean, the, the numbers really showed that, you know, Texas was going to be where the utility market is. The residential market in Texas has continued to grow. We still have lots of the central U.S. and southeast. And so we looked for a site in Texas. We started, we bought an existing facility and then the IRA happened. And uh, we decided that we would, instead of building a 800 megawatt facility, we built a two gigawatt facility that we could scale up. And so if there is demand, we can scale that facility up and add a few more gigawatts there. But right now our, our facility that's opening in August the 8th of uh, 2024, which is coming up really here soon, will open that two gig facility in Houston, Texas. Right, great. That's uh, very impressive. It's a $60 million investment into the local economy. And so, you know, we, we are excited about that. I, I do I do like the business friendliness of Texas. I do like the, the fact that it is, you know, when you think of Texas, historically, it's always been an energy state, whether that was yeah. oil, whether that was wind, but now it's solar. And so, you know, Houston and Texas, when I, when I think of those two regions, I, uh, areas, I, I think of energy and, and solar obviously is an important part of that energy mix moving forward. And so we're, we're grateful to be in that market. Yeah, for sure. And uh, what is next after this? I mean, you guys have achieved so much. Yeah. So again, we've had, uh, uh, as we've grown, we've, you know, obviously leveraged contract manufacturers then moved on to JVs and then building our own facilities out. And so we're expanding our production outside of the U.S. still. We do have, uh, uh, we are currently building out an additional five gigs of module, five gigs of cell, and five gigs of ingot and wafer in Indonesia. We acquired about 105 acres. And so we're building out a fully vertically integrated campus there in Indonesia for us. Again, that that facility will will serve the local market uh, as well as the U.S. And yeah, so we're, we're we're continuing to expand there. I would say that starting in 2026, 2027, we're going to look at expanding our presence here in the U.S. as well. So we do have plans to open a cell manufacturing facility sometime in 2027, early 2028 is I think realistically when it will happen. Um, it really things uh, the election could potentially slow us down or speed us up a little bit there, but uh, it really depends on the outcome of the election. But our plans are currently to build a cell facility uh, in the U.S. as well.